Hello, uh, this is Nitin Dahad with um, Andre uh, Kolidny of, of Wind River, um, and we're going to talk about um, uh, virtualization um, of automotive uh, services on, on the cloud. Uh, Andre, hello. Uh, hello, Nitin. So you gave a talk uh, at, the, at the conference here at the ICA Summit, and um, uh, uh, to just summarize uh, what, what, uh, what you were trying to sort of get over as a message. Uh, well, I, I, uh, so the whole industry, I think, moves to, to software-defined vehicle. However, at the moment, I would say it's undefined. So software-defined vehicle, no, no one exactly knows what is that. But the future will be there. And, and through, through this move, the, the uh, hardware and software comes to, to some kind of big, uh, uh, big high-performance compute where the, I, I would say native paradigm would be cloud native development. So th that's why I think this this was one of the uh, major uh, outcomes of my talk or points of my talk. And, and I think what you outlined was that sort of move from you know, your legacy hardware all the way through to the total virtualization of, of services on the on the software defined vehicle. Just take us through that path. Uh, all right. So uh, the. Um, in, in the past, or even now, there are like 100 ECUs there, so it's each feature uh, equal uh, one ECU. So uh, the problem with that approach was that uh, it, it was a uh, long time to market, to develop this and to introduce. Uh, that's why with, with this paradigm shift, uh, OEMs try to centralize compute in one place. and and, and uh, the uh, consequences of that, that, that you need to put on one platform safety, non-safety, uh, real-time, non-real-time features. That's why, naturally, you come to virtualization. Okay. And, and what, are you, what is Wind River doing in that area at the moment? Well, we, we have our platform, uh, which is uh, on the edge side consists of hypervisor. It's a safety real-time hypervisor, and then we have real-time operating system, which is also safety. We have a Linux platform on top. You can also put uh, Android platform, so everything prepared. And as an umbrella, we have uh, um, um, WindRiva uh, Studio, which allows to develop, but not only develop, also deploy and operate all these uh, components. And they are prepared for native cloud uh, infrastructure. And, and I think one of the things you talked about with, with the native cloud infrastructure for cars is, is that ability to uh, enhance the V2X capabilities. Is that right? Yeah, th that's right. I mean, um, I, I think uh, most of the people, they are very deep involved in the SDV. But there is a broader scope. If you go outside and, and, and try to communicate with, with other vehicles or with infrastructure, you, you, you will strike so the, the same problems. And, and, and uh, like Vito X is, is, is a good, um, good facility, and, and especially with 5G, to, to extend the capabilities of the SDVs, of the vehicles. Well, Andre, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you.